These two teams first met in 1887. Today, they'll renew one of the fiercest rivalries in college football, Notre Dame versus Michigan, as CBS kicks off its fourth year of college football. CBS Sports presents College Football. Live from Michigan Stadium in Ann Arbor, Michigan, it's the Notre Dame Fighting Irish versus the Michigan Wolverines. We're underway. Morris at the six for the Wolverines. Cuts back and slips down at about the 16-yard line. Their quarterback is Jim Harbaugh, coming back from a broken arm, played only four games last year. His inside runner will be fullback number 22, Gerald White. Jamie Morris, who just returned that kickoff, is the brother of Joe of the New York Giants. Eric Campbell switches from defense to offense this year. Paul Yoki, six foot eight, former basketball player, and Eric Pattis is his tight end. Harbaugh brings the Wolverines to the line of scrimmage. inside. Put down and squirms to the 24-yard line. They shift again, Era, defensively in that front. They come with Morris, trying to get the first down. They're going to be very close. They shift back into the eye. And again it is Morris, this time sweeping to the left on the Irish. Steve Lawrence. Left tackle Clay Miller. He got out from under the nose of Barry Switzer. Mike Puzar out of Chicago will start at guard. Bob Cavaccino had to switch over because of injuries to the regular centers. Mark Hammerstein, his brother, is on the defensive line. Big John Elliott. They are strong to the left. They now bring Campbell in motion. He gets outside Jokic. Harbaugh to throw for the first time today on the roll. Incomplete. Big third down. Split bounce. Jokic to the right. Incomplete. Tried to hit his tight end, Eric Caddis. Came up and delivered a fine blow that time. Robbins picked up the snap off the ground with a short punt. And Notre Dame will have field position at the 33-yard line. Steve Berline out of Southern California. Servite High School down in the Anaheim area. One setback is Alan Pinkett. Notre Dame to throw on first down. Berline keeps it. And picks up five yards. Here for Notre Dame right now. Coming back from shoulder surgery. We'll check that out. Here's the man who's breaking in as the Irish fullback. And of course their Heisman Trophy candidate is Alan Pinkett. Now with Mark Jackson out, Tim Brown is their top receiving threat. He is no relation to the New England quarterback by the same name. And he was a defensive tackle last year. Stams is in there, set in front of Pinkett. They'll operate out of the eye, and here comes Pinkett, the Heisman Trophy candidate, and they stuffed him on his first carry, third and three. From split backs, they will run Stams straight ahead. And again, it is young Mark Mesner. Eric Campbell, the wide receiver, is set back at the 10-yard line. Steps up to the 16. Good coverage by that specialty team. Campbell is in motion. From the eye, it's the fullback. Right straight ahead. Just what you'd expect from Michigan. Then Doug Flutie's little brother is now operating at running back for that team, and they're underway. From the eye formation, Jamie Moore squirts right straight ahead. Eight starters returning, including Robert Banks, one of the outside linebackers. Now, the men inside, Greg Dinges and Eric Dorsey playing his first game at the nose. Wally Klein, the brother of Joe Klein, the former Arkansas basketball great. And the other outside linebacker is Mike Larkin. He'll read the defense here. He'll call an audible according, according to what he thinks it will go. Let's see what he does. Probably an ISO. Now he's going to pitch sweep to Jamie. And get it. And the Irish over on the right side. Set to punt. 
And again, it comes up short near midfield. Notre Dame will have field position. They don't miss an Allen picket game. They'll drive 11 hours tonight just to get back home. Verline hands to their son. He squirts free for a big game. Brad Cochran was helping out on that stop. You'll hear his name defensively all game long. Second and about a yard and a half. And take it for the first down. Flashes across the 40-yard line. Steve Thibert is the outside linebacker. He must replace Scarcelli, who's injured. Mark Mesner, who is being tested repeatedly in this game. Billy Harris starts at middle guard. Their best defensive lineman is right there, Mike Hammerstein. The Irish are trying to stay away from him. Jeff Akers is the other outside linebacker. Berline to throw it on first down. He's got time. Goes long. Man was covered. Tim Brown was the intended receiver. He got the job done there. Here is Pinkett from deep. And the Michigan defense right there. One of their co-captains, Mike Mallory. His father, the head coach at Indiana. Andy Moeller, his father, the defensive coordinator for Bo. Garland Rivers, who made that good play on Timmy Brown. Possible All-American candidate, Brad Cochran. And the safeties, Ivan Hicks. His brother plays for the 49ers. Tony Gant, back from a broken leg that he suffered a year ago. On third down, Burline rolls to the left. He's going to keep it. Inside the 30, he gets his first down. They have a very talented field goal kicker if they bog down. What they want, of course, is the six. Off a delay, Burline rolls to the left again. This time, Michigan's ready. Steve Seibert not been afraid to put it up down here, but the Michigan secondary has covered the receivers. Frank Stams, the lone setback to block. Burline on a quick flip to Tim Brown. Knocked out of sounds at the 19-yard line. And Pinkett is set three yards behind Stams. Play fake Pinkett. They send him out as a receiver. He's covered. Burline will keep it. First down. No, it's going to be very close. They'll go from the eye. They're inside the 15. Pinkett down to the 12-yard line. Pat Kusak, messenger of the play in. He is the wide receiver in this formation. It is Pinkett up the middle. Bounces inside the 10-yard line. From the eye. Both lines were moving. There was the bait, the Wolverines. They started to come across, but unfortunately it worked against the Irish. And Tony Eason along with Tim Brown are the two wide receivers. They'll run Pinkett. And ready for him was big Mike Hammerstein. 17 of 19 as a field goal specialist for the Irish. And one of those misses came from 50 yards out. The ball will be put down at the 19. He's good again. Carney is now 18 of 20. Notre Dame gets on the scoreboard with a 34-yard field goal, but they're disappointed they wanted the touchdown. John Carney. Deep kickoff. It'll go out of the end zone, and unlike last year, it'll just come out to the 20-yard line, and now they split out in that formation. They are strong to the right with Caddis. Harbaugh will dump it off. Eight-yard gain by Jamie Morris. And again, they go to the split backs with Caddis lining up strong to the right. Now they'll run Perryman straight ahead for the first down. First and ten. Eric Campbell comes in motion behind him. Play fake to Morris. Roll to the left. Complete. No out of bounds. No complete. Now it is second and ten. Harbaugh to throw again. He'll run. And he's a good runner. First down. Across midfield. Out of bounds at the 45. And this is a different kind of attack than Bo Schimbeckler normally shows. Much more wide open with Harbaugh in the controls. Here he runs on first down. And Jamie Morris gets six yards. Brad Cochran in the defense waits. It is Perryman straight ahead, short of the first down. Morris, he just did make it. Here it is, first and ten for the Wolverines. Inside the 35, it is Perriman coming around the right side. 
getting to the 30, and it was an offside penalty that slowed them up, and they settled for a field goal. We'll return after this commercial break and a word from your local stations. But they've done pretty well. They're hanging in there. Both teams are playing good defense. Michigan will attack from the eye. This is second and seven as we start the second quarter. Harbaugh to put it up. Goes long for Yoki. She catches it. No, he dropped it at the last moment. Incomplete. But what a great effort for his counting on the six foot eight inch Yoki as a big weapon. And he showed his why. Now it's third down. And again, it's going to be Harbaugh for the sidelines. Incomplete. He wanted Eric Campbell. And now the Wolverines will attempt a field goal. The first one by Gillette. Mike Gillette. He is a freshman kicker. A great baseball prospect here at Michigan. Kick is up. Short. A 47-yard attempt comes up short. Burline. Handing off right up the middle. Brown and Reggie Ward are the wide receivers. Split outside. It's Jefferson again. Steve Burline with a lone Irish setback. Straight back complete to Tim Brown. First down and Brown accelerates. Near the 40-yard line. Expect big things from here. Here's the end around to Brown. Michigan read it. Brown battling back, creating, gets inside the 35. How about that for a run? Michigan had a man on him. Burline off the play fake, complete to Cusack. Giving Notre Dame great speed in the backfield. Here comes Pinkett behind Jefferson. And Garland Rivers, number 13, came up and smacked him. Here is Pinkett. No hole to the outside. Third and 12. Pinkett is the man behind Stam. Off the draw. Here he comes. He's trying to get outside the wall. And Michigan came up the fill very well. Steve Burline. And of course, with Burline as the holder, some situations you have to think fake, but not this one. Carney gets it high and good, and what a leg that young man has. He's really something, I'll tell you. John Carney puts another field goal on the board, but the Wolverines are hanging tough here in Ann Arbor. <laughs> Slight wind in his face. He brings it into the end zone anyway, and it bounces out. Jim Harbaugh marks the signal, hands to Morris, big hole in the middle. First down for Michigan. They'll run Morris on first down to the 37-yard line. Second and five for Michigan. They trail it by two field goals. Morris broke a tackle. First down out to the 47. Eight minutes and 20 seconds to go in the first half. Morris comes out. They'll pitch to Thomas Wilcher, who fills in for him. Wilcher got a couple of yards. And second and nine. Harbaugh. Flushed out of the pocket, coming over to the left. And a great catch, but was he out of bounds? He was out of bounds. Harbaugh figures to throw here on third and nine. Drops straight back. Goes hard to Jokic, and that time he dropped the ball first half. This will be his third punch. And the fair catch is signaled inside the 10-yard line. Tim Brown and Reggie Ward are the wide receivers. Alan Pinkett is the tailback. Frank Stams the fullback behind Burline. And it is Stams on a counter, one of Mike Stock's favorite plays. Second and six for Burline. Yep, going to throw it. Drops it off over to Pinkett, who is an excellent receiver. Brought down short of the 20. I think it only has 17 yards and 10 carries. They fake it to him that time, era. And Furline throws, and Reggie Ward juggles and comes down at the 35, and now they rule incomplete. Second and 10. Michigan looking for that turnover with six minutes to go in the first half. They run Pinkett. Pinkett and a lot. 
Alonzo Jefferson are split in the backfield. Carlisle can't get it off. Big Mike Hammerstein, the All-American, rolled in for the sack. So it'll be Sorensen back to punt. Good kick. Eric Campbell for the fair catch at the 40-yard line. And I think Bo is not going to be conservative. Fullback Bob Perryman, who was shaken up earlier, is back in the lineup. He will block the reverse. It's Eric Campbell. He can fly. They've got a hole on the left side. Campbell to midfield and to the 49-yard line. And that helped Campbell get around the corner in that situation. It is first down from the eye. Morris explodes up the middle inside the 40-yard line. The Wolverines on the hunt. First and 10. Ball is at the 38. Morris trying to get outside. Jitterbugs back inside. <laughs> Who hadn't been familiar with that position? Second and six. Morris again in the workhorse gets inside the 30. Close to another first down. The power straight ahead with Perriman. First down inside the 25-yard line. But that looked more like Bo Schembechler Beckler football. <laughs> Run over him in the middle. Now it's more. countering back, stepping back to the 16-yard line. And the Irish are having a difficult time. Great play here for an offense. Second and two going in. They elect Perriman up the middle. He's inside the 10-yard line for a first down. Michigan letting the clock continue to run on down here, trying to run it out with a touchdown in the first half. They'll run more. See Jitterbuck, the Irish are on him this time. And the big horses don't let him get any play. I go to Jokic right here, six foot eight, second down. Let him out jump the defender if he can. He's to the right. They're waiting right. for him, but they're going to drop it off instead to Morris. And Morris gets down close to that five-yard line. Tony for Janet. And the split back, man-to-man -man coverage on the part of the Irish. Roll out. They threw it away. You get on the board, it's a three-point game at the end of the half. He gets this. Mike Gillette has got it. His first field goal. The freshman puts his first points on the board for Michigan. A 21-yard field goal. into the end zone and it'll come out i wouldn't take any chances i think they're going to try to run it as they are right there pinkett with a hole comes to the right side gets across the 40 yard line now 57 seconds to go he's terrific they'll run pinkett to the left hammerstein helping out on the stop they'll update everything here it is second and five and they run the big man pinkett had an alley, got a first down at the 41-yard line. Pass and trap that ball. He's going to throw it. He's going to try to get it down in there, and he's got him wide open. Tony Eason. He's already kicked him from 34 and 31. Here comes 47. What a weapon. John Carney is one of the finest kickers in college football. He is three for three for the Fighting Irish. Set to return from Michigan. There it goes. Picks it deep and out of the end zone. So they'll be able to be carrying the ball for Coach Bruce and the Ohio State Buckeyes soon. Here it is, eight seconds to go. Harbaugh on it out. Just gave it to Jamie Morris. They were content to run out the clock. We'll go in at the end of the first half with the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame leading the Wolverines of Michigan 9-3. It's been a battle of the field goals, and the Irish are ahead in that department, too. He came to Michigan. He said, I want to kick off for the Wolverines, and here he is. Jefferson and Brown are deep for the Irish. Jefferson fumbles, kicks the ball loose. Michigan dives in on it inside the 15-yard line. The Wolverines recover the turnover as we start the second half. Eric Campbell, the other wide man for Harbaugh. They'll run Morris. 
He busts one tackle. Battles his way to the 12 yard line. I don't, know, I don't think they're in man to man coverage here. They may be man to man underneath. Oh, quarterback draw. Great call. to the 15 yard line. Here's Pinkett. He gets to the 10. Second and five. Two tight ends again. Pinkett up the middle. Here's the third down play. The power formation. Pinkett. And he is stopped short. It's 25 yards. John Carney is 4-4. Four four. Another day at the office. Boy, I'll tell you. But it's Michigan's turn at bat next. John Carney, who's tied the Notre Dame record with four field goals, will kick it off. Jamie Morris and Gerald Wider deep. Out of the end zone. Gilvani Johnson checks in a wide receiver. He and Jokic. Jokic is to the left. They'll swing it out. Incomplete. But he still has been effective. He scored their only touchdown on a quarterback draw. He'll try pass number 12. This one's complete to Jokic. First down, Michigan. Here's Perriman. Straight ahead. Up to the 35. Yeah. Second and five. Split back behind Harbaugh. He drops it off to the side and Jamie Morris. But it's another Michigan first down. Dead ball. Ball starts. <laughs> Here's Morris. Short of the 45. Now both fullbacks are in the game. And White will operate a tailback as Morris gets a blow and Harbaugh wins it complete. To the 40 yard line. Another first down. Now it's 
the fullback Perriman gaining a yard. It was second and eight here in this formation. Roll out. He's going to keep it. Oh. Dallas is blocked, and Harbaugh dies for the first down. Did he get it? Yes, he did. He got the first down. Harbaugh has carried the ball three times for 42 yards and one touchdown. And there's White. Second and eight. Here's Morris again, and in trouble this time. Such one intended for Hiawatha Francisco and slips down at the point. 17-12, one minute and nine seconds to go in quarter number three. Here's Pinkett up the middle. On that punt, when he fumbled it and turned it over, Jefferson the Irish was hurt when he fumbled the kickoff. Furline to throw it, steps up in the pocket, and he hits Ward beautifully for a first down at the 41. Pinkett across the 45. We come to the end of quarter number three. Michigan scores two touchdowns. Notre Dame adds a field goal at 17-12. We'll return after this commercial break and a word from your local station. And I, I didn't know that I wouldn't be there. <laughs> Bo didn't know whether he would or not. There's the handoff to Stams, the fullback. He busts across the 50, close to the first down. Against this team, against the Michigan team, it's going to be through the air. Well, Berline's going to put it up, but he's under pressure. And there he is, Mike Hammerstein. I think a little screen play would be in order here. Try to make up some of this yardage. They'll give it to Pickett. Michigan is playing with a... Michigan trying to hit the hardest right here, and they do. They come up with Jeff Akers. Tony Gant set back deep. He replaces Campbell to return this punt for Michigan. Slips a tackle, but slammed down at the 19-yard line. They switch into the eye formation. Jamie Morris is the tailback. Here is Morris, cutting to the right and slammed down. Back here, it is second and eight. Harbaugh pulls out for Michigan. Pressured. Now he throws on the run, almost intercepted. Guessing he's not going to throw. He just inserted Thomas Wilcher at the tail. That's how much I know. Harbaugh to run out of it. First down. Out to the 44. I told you he wasn't going to throw the ball. <laughs> First and 10. Ball is at the 44. 
They'll run more. He's across the 45 to the 47. Oh, about 10 days ago, he was one of the most underrated, underrated quarterbacks in the Big Ten. I didn't believe him at the time, but certainly I do now. Look at that off the option. You keep it turned a corner close to another first down. Third and two. Here's White. Hit, breaks free, first down. The crowd sensing an upset. Hand off inside. They battle away for four more yards. Tabacino ready to snap at the harbor. Jimmy goes long for Yokes, who's open. Incomplete, and there's the flag. Interference. Marv Spence. Now Harbaugh hands to the tail. Wilcher's back in at the 20-yard line. It's Jamie Morris is at the tail. Perryman. They could still tie it up with a touchdown and a two-pointer. Harbaugh on the roll this time. He'll throw to what? Inside the five-yard line, Gerald White. He brings him up in the eye. Here's White. To the four. Second and goal and 6.34 to go in the fourth quarter. Michigan up by five and threatening again. Here's White. To the two-yard line. I think I put Jamie Morris's hands. Possible option. Great defensive play. Kick him out. Rode in, and now it will be Gillette with the field goal attempt. And it's a big one. Yes, it is. Mike Gillette has a field goal. It's 20 to 12, Michigan. 5-12 to go. It's a high bounce. Tim Brown will down it. It'll come out on the 20. To the right side, almost intercepted, and then Pinkett almost got it on the deflection. He'll be trying to put pressure on one more time. Will use the draw play and stands. He'll go no place. Michigan has been a much more effective offensive. Here's third down for the Irish. Burlines pass incomplete. Gant will be the deep man. Sorensen punting for the Good Irish. Good kick. Good kick. Drives Gant back inside the 35. Nice cut. To the 47. Jim Harbaugh brings the Wolverines up. 4.02 on the clock. Michigan leads Notre Dame 20 to 12. And they pound away at the clock right now. Eric Dorsey. You see what they come up with. They'd like to keep that ball away from the Irish. They're going to have to make first down. There's more. Well, do it that way. Humble Irish ball. Picked up on the run by Troy Wilson. That's what the Irish needed to get that ball back. Two tight ends and one running back and two wide receivers. Two receivers quick on both sides. There they go, four men out. Oh, that's late. Same formation again. They're going to go flooding the sides. Two quick receivers, both sides. I'll see what they're anticipating zone from the Michigan team. Ward's got the throw. First down at the 48. And four receivers out. Two tight ends, two wides. Man's open in the middle. Hey, great that's catch. a great catch. Oh, oh he had it. didn't hold it. I thought he had the I ball. I thought he had the ball long enough. The name has got the worst of the flakes. There's no question about that. Second and ten. Quick pop over the middle. Incomplete intended for Raider again. 
The Sun waits in the backfield to see if they'll throw to him this time. Furline looks. Brother through. Way overthrown over Tony Eason's head. There he is. Great throw. Pink it. First down at the 30. Clark runs down to 240. Incomplete, overthrown, wanted Pinkett again. A three-man rush. Let's see what he does here. Over the middle, complete to Joe Williams. Berline with good protection, hits Stams the fullback. He's inside the 15 to the 13-yard line. Here's the second down. On the draw, it's Pinkett. Tries to spin, and he's down at the 11-yard line. So it's Moeller and McIntyre at linebackers as Burline drops back under pressure. Hammerstein, he tries to throw it loose, but he was down. Throw it in there, hopeful for a intercept or an interference call. Fourth and 16, they can get a first down and not score. They don't have to get to the end zone. Penalty flag. Interception by Michigan, but there is a penalty flag. Holding, now nope, it's against the iron. So the interception by Doug Mallory stands. 56 seconds. Harbaugh goes down on one knee, Notre Dame with one timeout left. And you called it, uh, Brent, at halftime when we were away. You